What's up, everyone? I'm Dave. This is Quarter Flips, and welcome to another edition of the $1 to New Car Challenge. That's right. I am back. I have made enough money to do another shopping run to get some more money for this new car. Now, let me explain what this is all about. If you don't know, in fact, if you don't know, you could go to the main page of my channel, and there's a playlist that has all of the previous $1 new car videos, but I'll sum it up if you don't feel like going through all of that right now. Fall of last year, I started a situation where I had a dollar and I was going to buy one item and sell that item, take all the money, buy more items, keep doing that, keep rolling, buying more items specifically with the money from that one dollar is going to run that up until I had enough money to buy a brand new car, cash off the lot. It's been going pretty well so far. In the time I've been doing this video series, I have purchased 365 items starting with the one item that I purchased for $1. Of those 365, I have sold 139, and the rest are basically sitting either listed right now, running and trying to be sold, or waiting for me to list. That's a bit of an issue. We're going to get to that in a minute. So since the last video I made, I sold these items. And the total of those sales was $306.25. So as I've done before, I'm going to bank 100 and I'm going to spend the rest. As close to 206.25 as I can. Probably, you know, I usually come in a little under. I don't want to go over. So I'm going to buy about $200 worth of stuff. But what kind of stuff am I going to buy this time? I have been buying a lot of smaller dollar items um, we did see the situation where I had the money counter that went for decent money, but I spent a lot on it and I, it scared me off on heavier, higher dollar items. But when I buy a lot of small stuff, it takes me a long time to get that stuff listed. And this is becoming unwieldy because I have to spend most of my time listing things to make money, to pay my bills, to live off of. So... The dollar car is supposed to be an additional thing. It cannot be my main gig. And if I were to list all of those small things, I, uh, yeah, I'd spend too much of my time doing it. So a lot of the stuff that I bought in the last video isn't even up yet. I still have 90 things that I bought last time that aren't even up yet. And even with that, I still made this money to spend again. So I have a nice base. Things are rolling. So from here on out, I'm going to try to buy things. I want to shoot for the $20 range. I'll try to make a rule for this one that I want to buy things that are maybe $5 or more. And I'm sure it's not going to be that easy. There'll probably be a few smaller items that come my way. But I want to try to buy some not $165 items like the uh, like the money counter. But, you know, if I see something that's 50 bucks, 60 bucks, 70 bucks, but it makes sense and I can make a good turn on it, I'll do that. It'll be less work. And the money will keep turning and this thing will keep going. The other thing is, now that this project is quite a bit bigger... There's a few items that I purchased in earlier videos that they're not working for me. I, I want to take them out of the project. It's basically the problem is I've got some DVDs that ended up being scratched. They didn't play right. I need to get them cleaned. That's additional money. That means they didn't come in under the amount of money that I spent at the time because I always spend up close to the limit. If I'd added the cleaning to those, it wouldn't have been affordable. I don't want to mess with those. I'm just going to take them out. It's three DVDs and the... The Zuzu pets, the little Zuzu pets that I got, I don't, I don't want to deal with those either. Um, so I'm probably going to get rid of those. And honestly, the big Playmobil ship lot, I think that's too much of a hassle to figure out for this project. So yeah, when I get to adding things into the sheet later on, after I, uh, after I buy stuff, then um, yeah, those will probably come out. And that's fine, because that'll just be more money I could spend next time. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to show the sheet to show these items that I just threw up here so you can see basically how that played out and where the money came from. And I'm going to show how I banked the money and then I'm going to go shopping. So let's go do the sheet. Let's go shopping and then I'll come back and uh, you know sum it all up at the end. Here we are on the sheet. These are the items that have sold. If you wanted to slow this down or freeze it and take a look at the specific numbers, you can. But let's get up here 
what we're going to need to do now that our current total is 306.2465. Yeah, that's $306.25 basically. So let's get down here. Let's bank another hundred. We'll take the one from before. This is how we account for it. We'll copy that, move it up here. Okay, bank in a hundred. So I'll have 206.25 left. Let's go up and uh, add, up and add that. We'll say 728.22, $100. Boom, banked 300. Big day today. It is half off day at the St. Vincent de Paul thrift stores in the Seattle area. I have $200 to spend for the $1 new car challenge, and I am picking up my proxy buyer, my surrogate shopper, Tanya, to go with me. Before I do all that, I gotta drop these to the post office. Okay, now that that's done, time to pick up Tanya and get this show on the road. Well, hold on now. I don't think this little shopper can come with us. <laughs> what? What are you? You're not gonna come along, are you? Are you gonna come along? I don't think you can. Oh no. I don't think you can. Sorry, I gave you the wrong interview, buddy. <laughs> How are you? Good, how are you doing? Good, you gonna walk the dog and then we'll head out? I, I'm gonna take her back inside and give her a treat and then we are taking off. Fantastic. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Right back. All right, we finally made it to our first spot. We're gonna go in. So here's the game plan for the day. I am trying to buy items that are higher dollar. I wanna spend this $1 new car money more wisely. So I'm going to try to go $5 or more. 10 or 20 would be even better, which means I can't buy the DVDs I normally buy. So if I see anything I would buy, I'm gonna pass it off to Tanya if she wants it. Sound good? I'm taking it. Sounds good. You're taking yep, it? Yep. All right, let's see what we can find in here. Okay, great. My friend sent me a, a meme saying, I can't remember what kind of talk. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it was Pat Robertson or something like that saying, Your thrift items might be possessed by demons. Yes. Like <laughs> Your thrifted items might be possessed by demons. That's a lot. Okay. With hats. Oh, your little Google image thing. Could, but I'm just gonna get horses. I don't know if those are specific enough to. We'd have to look at them and find out what the deal with them is. Well, doing? doing well, how about you? Uh, Is this your pile? Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> I can't decide on the Lorax. He's like 11 bucks. Is that worth it? Mm. What's he cost? He's $11. Now let me ask you this. Is it $11 plus shipping or 11 with shipping? Just 11. Let it go. Okay. That, that, that would be my take. I think you want to go. I think you need to go higher. If it was 11 plus shipping, I would say for sure. Um, I didn't see a single DVD that I thought was worth buying. Really? Yeah. But I found a couple of things that I was looking for. I think we did okay at our first stop. It took a long time. 10 minutes in, I didn't think I was gonna find anything. I found a lot. Yeah. You happy of, with it? Um, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty happy. I just realized though, I think that my sound affected my little guy. Oh no, maybe he does work. 
I don't know. I heard him earlier. Well, you might have to get into him and see if uh, <laughs> see if it's working. I what is I he? Him, I, I was gonna scan him again and try to figure out what he. Who he is? Yeah, because he did work at one point. He's the Lion Guard talking bunga. Yeah, that's all gibberish to me, but it's Disney, right? Yeah. Disney. That's cool. He looks cool. Disney. And you paid a dollar for it. Um, yes, I paid a dollar ten if I put my tax. And I swore he said something earlier, so okay. I. Okay. Well, the Lion Guard is here. All right, very cool. Let's get to the next spot. Okay. <laughs> uh, he keeps now. He, now you can't shut him up. Before the next Saint Vincent de Paul, we're gonna stop at a couple of yard sales. I think we go this way. Let's see what we see back here. Yes. Now there's a beware of dog and a yard sale. How'd you feel about that spot? Were, I'm just not gonna say much right now. <laughs> there were a lot of knives, but I was a little more yeah. turned off by the swastikas. Yeah, I, I- I just made a video about this. You did, you did. <sighs> Burian, Tanya has found me a thrift store <laughs> I did not know about. I did. So it's half off okay. day for St. Vincent de Paul, but we're doing garage sales in new thrift stores, whatever. <laughs> Let's see what we find. You gotta be flexible in this business. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Check this one. Check this one. Whoever had this collection of, of sketchy Vestron video VHS. Black. You're going to want to check this one too. We have finally made it to another St. Vincent de Paul. So, you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Burian store. Let's see what we got. Okay. All right. I forgot to start this thing running. So, you've got a, your normal pile of stuff. <laughs> I have got a bit of a pile of things, and I'm finding more as we speak. I'm gonna go wander and see if there's some more stuff in my price range. How much are these Nikes? Uh oh, she's got a band aid on it. What happened? Uh, these Yeah. $249. How much? $249. Are these half off? Yep. Yes. You're so good. Thank you. My legs already felt so much better. How about this for putting clothes up on that dress form? I like the GoPro. You want to sell that? No, yeah, <laughs> thank you. How much for these? Um, what do you want for those Avengers? Five bucks or something? Five bucks. Just cut this. Are they connected? No, but it's just really soft. It's very soft. <laughs> Goodwill. We have gotten to the point in the day where we can't get to any more St. Vincent de Paul thrift stores. We only made we only made two today. We did a lot of detours. A lot of detours. Yeah. And we really got a lot out of the half price day, but now we're gonna have to go to some Goodwills just because they're open later. We're gonna have to. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're gonna have to. to. We're out. We're out. We gotta keep working. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh my. I have to. Do you know who this is? It's... No. Do you know who this is? 
Yeah, yeah it's from one of the shows. <laughs> Thanks for narrowing it down. Uh, it's maybe the one where the... Look at it, it's got stuff all over it. Is it Land Before Time? Okay. Yeah, I don't know if that was come out right. Yeah, I guess it might be too bad to see. I'm buying this, yeah. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good buy. Look at what Tanya is, is filling my car full of stuff. Including this puppet. Okay, <laughs> we're at another Goodwill. This is a pretty good one though. I have found cool things here before. Oh, I'm excited. I, don't, I may have been to this one years ago. So, years ago? Yeah. Like All right. You. Tanya's filling my car up with stuff. I'm sorry, what was no, that? No, go ahead. <laughs> It, it's been a long day. Yeah. We're stepping on each other's lines, and we don't even have any lines. So um, we're gonna go in and see what we can do. Our, we're stepping on each other's ad libs. Yeah, the ad libs are overlapping. Exactly. This may be the last <laughs> store, but I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what we got. Right, okay. Oh, Joe, Joe, Joe. That's a Powerpuff Girls guy. Why do I know that? Look at this trunk. Look at what you've done. Uh, How much money did you spend today? Oh, you didn't even tell me you were going to ask me that question. Do you have any kind of estimate? Well, I knew I spent about 65 at one point, and then I might have spent about 210 or something like that. 210? I mean, 110. 110. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I just... No, it's <laughs> totally okay. Maybe 110? So you, you spent 110, and most of it was on half price items. Because you really bought a lot at those. I didn't buy Sandwich. a lot of half price items. No? Uh uh. I felt like you were at the register with a lot of stuff. But that last I had store. A lot of stuff, a lot of it was not half price stuff. Okay, but I, I don't know if you want me to. Um... Yeah, go through this real quick. Do you want okay. to. Do, do you have a bag you could start transferring stuff to? Because I don't know how you're even going to move stuff around. Yeah, I'm not sure really how to. Because I have these tubs I bought. So you bought tubs also? I bought some tubs. I guess they're not that dirty. I could probably put some of it in there. Okay. Okay. So you transfer tub. some. Okay. So tell me what you yeah. got as you transfer to the tub. Well, that was this the. This is a garage sale, fine for a dollar. That was your super fluffy bear. And it's a Jelly Cat London, which, and it's larger than a typical Jelly Cat. I didn't actually get to look it up because my phone died. Yeah, but I that's a good brand. But this is a good brand, and usually the smaller ones go for like 15 to 18. So this is a larger one, and yeah. it's soft as hell. It's really nice. Folk Manus. Wonderful. Um, Puppet. Orangutan. Uh, Could you do, have you got a routine worked out yet? <laughs> no, that was five fifty. So I'm not. That's a great going. deal. No, this folk manis puppets do well. Dave gave me this little bear. This little guy it was a dollar fifty. Rottweiler. He's a Nat and Jules Rottweiler. Yep. I got the three set of the PJ Masks plus a little ninja guy. Who Have you had those them. before? I got a Romeo Lab, who I think is like the mad scientist person uh, that goes with these guys. And these guys sometimes three go for thirty. Nice. Sell three together, and they were a dollar sixty-five a piece. I don't really know what this Dick Bruna. I don't know. It's like a fifteen dollar. It looks cool. Thing with tags. This is evil. And Dave, yeah, yeah. this evil guy from Mojo Powerpuff Jojo Girls. I think. Yes, Dave knew it was from the Powerpuff 15. Girls. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> a 
Okay, 15 bucks. So I have that same one at home. You'll have to underprice me and, and sell it. Oh, okay. Or I've already sold it. I don't okay. know. I don't remember. I don't remember what, 13, 15, something. Oh, this was kind of interesting. Some other of these ones sold, but it's like a pillow book. So it's the book of Cinderella, but it's like a pillow. Oh. And the actual book. Yeah. So those are sheet, like, sh like pillowcase printed book pages. Yeah. That's, so I am surprised by kinda that. Kind of interesting. Okay. Yeah. But some other books sold uh and they sold for pretty well so I'm yeah hoping and cinderella seems like a popular that's girly. the first time we've seen that while we've been out so okay here we got cool. a hogwarts um yeah. alley backpack what is this uh, name. i knew it at one point but who really cares anymore about tax. about that stuff at the one <laughs> it was like 20 hedwig like hedwig Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, this is a, the tag got ripped off, but I think it's Hansa, where they make these really realistic looking. Yeah, that one is. Arctic Fox 250. Maybe my stuff. favorite one you got today. Oh, shoot. They probably gave me the more expensive. There's a more expensive tag on his butt. This side of his butt and his tail is a cheaper tag. Wow. Okay. So you paid three bucks at most for that. Yeah. Still pretty good. Oh, this is the Alice in Wonderland yeah. rabbit guy. It's two bucks, but okay. he went for like 30. This is from Don't Train Your something how to, your how to train your don't dragon don't train your dragon don't train your dragon <laughs> 150 uh yeah i can't remember he was like he was actually pretty good he was Look, almost 20 cute. bucks and i can't remember what this guy was i'm sorry he's a hamster or something and he went for pretty well he went for 18 bucks but i can't remember the brand sorry it's covered up on the yeah, tag though i need to go get the other container because i'm already out of there <laughs> this is a gumdrop pillow that i want to say what two scoops brand i didn't even see you grab that okay yeah, i want to say again that was another two 20 sc something snoopy in a bag and i uh it has a peanuts actual tag on it in the bag and it was like 19 bucks or something oh cool so 250 275 attack. that was sold comps you were seeing was like 19 bucks yeah cool um i sold another one of these reese's little squishmallowy or reese's things and i want to say it was like 18 it's got tags nice but it was a dollar 65 javelina javelina one where's my javelina 50 um this is was a half off item at goodwill cool. 150 plus tax and I think she sold for like 17. Oh, this is that other PJ Masks. Okay, that goes with the three guys. I think it's something guys. ninja, mask ninja, blind ninja. I'm going to try to sell with the other. Here's a Manhattan Toys, Super Bunny, Superhero Bunny. And I want to say again, <laughs> 17, 18 cool. bucks. Dollars, dollar 50. This is a dog toy. Um, Zippy Paws. I did pay oh. 330 but Have you had luck with dog toys or is that for your dog? Yeah, I've had luck with dog toys. So this says milk and cookies. And um, I don't know, people paid like 15 16 but then they also paid a lot of shipping from england so i don't really um oh this is a wallet 330 and it was uh let me see what brand it was i had to look it up on my phone it was just about to die amy keistenberg and i want to say it was maybe 30 bucks i could be wrong cool. but this is a little uh, itty bitty <laughs> walking dead itty bitties i don't know who he is he has a tux let me see him uh negan Oh, that's Negan? Yeah, oh, yeah, it's not bag. a tux, it's a leather jacket. Oh. And a baseball bat oh. with um, a baseball bat with barbed wire wrapped is around this, it. This is a guy from here, right? Uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan? Yeah. He's from This Everett is or Lucille. Oh. Okay. His baseball bat. Well, that yeah. was worth, uh, some of these sold for like 20 bucks. You told me to buy these little. I these thought those sacks. were cool. They were very cheap. You paid 50 cents a piece for yeah. them. And I, I think those are going to do all right for Yeah, it. I want to say they're 18 bucks maybe for Little three. nesting bowls, little flower nesting bowls yeah, i don't remember what this went for paw patrol pink girl i can't is remember it paw patrol name. yeah i can't okay. remember her name but she's the pink lady one this is a like device like 11 inch device i feel like you bought thing. that before and sold that before maybe i can't remember i think i paid a dollar fifty and i uh it was um maybe sold for like 12 15 ish okay and this stuff was maybe for me what i might <laughs> if i don't if I reject it, I will sell it. If you reject it, you will sell it. Yeah, I don't know. It's just Oh, that was dress. a dress at that, that nice store yeah, you took us to. This dress was two bucks. And then this is an express dress that was also two bucks. That store in Burien was fantastic. Yeah, this, this store is awesome. And then the shoes. Uh, oh, it's a VHS that Dave. Oh. Okay. No, go ahead. That's fine. <laughs> That's not going to hurt anything. Okay. So we checked the prices on these. These are not what you think they are. They're just those like racy 90s uh, or late 80s or early 90s, like, uh, you know, late night Cinemax type movies, but they're, they're like rated R. <laughs> this one, the pricing on this one was fantastic, but these tapes, yes, I found them. They were 99 cents a piece. I said I couldn't buy them. So you 
Yeah. You were picking it up, which I'm very happy someone is going to. Although you did say you wanted me to test them to make sure they work for oh, you. Oh, that's right. So you should take them home. Yeah, but this that's one why. Worth, this sold for like a huge amount of money to me. Yeah, I'll, I'll throw it up on the okay. screen. Uh, yeah. I surprising like, what the what? comp was on that. Yeah. Okay. It was one comp and then a bunch of people had it listed, right? Okay. Is that what uh, it was? I don't know if it, well, some people, have listed, yeah. So there's some ranch shoes I got again at the same store that um, they were two bucks and um, Ms. Moose and they were like selling for 20 something, 30 bucks for oh. some of these shoes. So I bought oh. those and I didn't even look at these. We were just kind of, but they were Clark's that were, or dance, dance go. I bought the dance oh. go clog shoes that were um, those do all right yeah they usually do pretty well they are heavy though okay and i've got a i can't remember if it's his girlfriend or his sister um, oh nice uh, rudolph's buddy that's a lady sure uh, i can't remember clarice that's it clarice Clarice. yeah like as in good evening of the land. and uh we got an aurora horse and i want to see he's 18. Oh, that's pretty cool yeah this is this was cool yeah yeah, yeah. Was that feisty pets? And he was like, ah. <laughs> and Mini So Life. I didn't see this particular one, but some sold well for $1.50. Yeah. Um, and and this you're all about kids. like unicorns and mermaids and stuff. So. Well, I mean, <laughs> and I found I got another PJ Masks oh, again yeah. for $1.50. And this is a Bebop. That's right. I told you you should buy yeah, that Bop It. This is, uh, it's got the original. I call it Bebop. It's Bop It. A Bop It. This is the original one. They sell pretty good and it okay. has the instructions. Awesome. So you paid two bucks for that. Two bucks for the facts. Okay. Let me get those. Yeah, I can't believe new. how much you got. Pillow Pet. That was new. I think he was two bucks. I don't know. Those ladies were kind of like overcharging me a little bit. Um, Tonka, I guess he's an 80s. I don't oh. really remember this guy, but he's some kind of 80s vintage dog guy that I want to say sold for like 17. This is just a animal adventure lion that i think was like 18 but it was in really good condition so I nice thought that was pretty good i mean it sells for around 18. yeah and okay. then this is uh another one of those jelly cat <laughs> jelly cat narwhal narwhal two bucks that um i thought was pretty cute and again the jelly cat this now the build-a-bear part of the okay i wouldn't typically buy huh. a, a brown bear for build-a-bear because those don't usually sell very well but that but, look at it the NBA um, outfit sells actually for money itself. Right. So I thought the bear with the outfit actually sold for like 30, 40 bucks. That's great. So I'm like, I'm buying this one. Two and a half bucks for bears. that. Yeah. So two and a half bucks for that. Yeah. I still got more stuff. Okay. You still got more stuff. Yes. All right. Oh, wow. Am I going to put all this in my place? Oh no. Okay. And then I'm got. then I got to force the people to watch what I bought. Yes. Okay. We got grumpy. I think he was about. Oh, he was 250, 275. Is he a puppet? No. No. I, okay. No, he's not. Right. But he does have like the Disney thing on the foot, which is supposed to be good. Nice. And he does have part of the tag still. So cool. So originally 20. Um, I've got, <laughs> this is a uh, Manhattan Toy Company line. I want to say there were comps that were like 17, 18 for that. You can't okay. really see his eyes though. But he does funny. have eyes in there. He does have little slits for eyes. This was that we oh, had yeah, that earlier. That's right. I can't remember his name. Bunga or something from Lion King. What is this? Adventure Planet New Tags Train Stuff Train. Okay. And then that might be it. And I have one more big thing, one more big item, and that's it. What's the big item? The big item I got at a garage sale with you. <laughs> yeah. Wizard of Oz cookie jar. Yeah, the Wizard of Oz cookie jar. You paid 15 bucks. That cookie jar, the hat comes off yeah. for the cookies to go in. And yeah, 15 bucks for that one. And in the box, I think it's brand new. Had sold it for 90 bucks. Yep. So, yep. That's everything. So now you have to find a place <laughs> for all of this uh -huh. in your house. And uh -huh. you had said when we started, you had no room. I did say that because that was accurate. <laughs> but you got two bins, so no problem. Oh yeah, the two bins are... Uh... You got one bin and then there's one still in the back seat of my car. Uh -huh. I think you'll be fine. Okay. Thanks for the optimism on this. <laughs> thank you for coming out today. Yes. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. And you know, we'll do it again. Oh yeah. What, what have we been saying we're going to do for a while? We have to finally both go brave the bin store and the Goodwill bins, the Goodwill bins and have the bin battle. Yes, definitely. All right. We'll do it. Okay, cool. Thank Thanks. you, Tanya. Hey, okay. So here's the story. I've got about $20 left to spend that I was not able to spend yesterday with Tanya. And today, there just happens to be an event called the Circle Pit Swap Meet going on at El Corazon in Seattle. So I'm gonna run over there and see if I can drop that 20.
everybody. All the old friends are here. Oh my god. I know, right? Look at that haunting guy. What's up, Jamie? <laughs> oh, how you doing? Good. Am I going to be the only person in this place with a mask? No, there's a few people. Adrian's got one on. All right, good. I feel better now. No judgment here. How are you? Good. Good. How about you? All right. I have a skateboard company called Don't Sleep Inc. I've been doing for a few years. Yeah. And so I got my new board here as well. And I can I, will you show me? All right. So tell me again where I can actually say it clear for everybody. This is your skateboard company. Yeah, this is a collaboration with Woodshop Skates out of Montana. The boards are hand pressed, handmade by skateboarders in Montana. Nice. The graphics done by myself. The shape is a collaboration between myself and Woodshop. Oh, I like it. It's got a nice block nose. Yeah. And yeah, so it's pretty cool. I did the graphic. Yeah, I don't Dude, those are awesome. Once you once you take a look, you're gonna want to sell next time. I will want to sell next time. I couldn't get it together this time. There has been too much chaos in life. But I, I definitely want to. I'm I'm doing a little something for the YouTube channel if that's all right. Yeah, absolutely. What's the story with this? Story? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So in the beginning of uh, the, the pandemic, right before the pandemic, me and Petty Bone wanted to do this uh, swap meet, and then the pandemic hit. Uh, you know, when things started to open up, we decided uh, Dana at the venue wanted to get people back in the routine of coming out to Outdoor Zone to support the local music community. So we offered up a free uh, punk rock kind of, you know, flea market with all kinds of metal stuff. And it's called Circle Pit Swap Meet. Uh, we have uh, local vendors. We've got uh, everything. We've got everything from uh, oh, no. people that sell plants and flowers. we got people selling merch and records. Records seem to go pretty well here. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be looking for some. Skateboard uh, companies. Uh, yeah, we got uh, handle companies, you know, any anything. It's uh, really fun. It's been our fourth one, and uh, we're looking forward to just keep doing it every you know, few months. So. Uh, what do you know when the next one will be? I do not know when the next one will be. Okay, give me. You can add us on Facebook at Circle Pit Squat Me. That's the Facebook group, and we'll keep you posted. We we will find out in a couple weeks. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Do you want to get a selfie with me? And you, what did you buy? Boys Don't Cry and Earth Crisis. Hey, who are you? What do you mean? Oh, I'm Jamin. Jamin. Yeah, am I on your video? Yeah. Oh, hey. I got some good stuff. Jamin, we were roommates. We were roommates back in the day. I was like... How old do you think this person is, honestly? Let's not give your age away, my friend. But if we were roommates 20 years ago or so... When I was in college. Yeah, when you were in college. <laughs> What'd you buy? All right, I got the uh, Earth Crisis Firestorm. Yep. It's a sweet record. First press. And uh, Cure, Boys Don't Cry. There's a bunch of good songs in this Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a classic for sure. And Aerith, The Imaginary Boys. I'm pretty excited about it. So this is this is your baby too. Yeah, I see a sh I see a shadow season seven inch. I had to buy it. You bought it? Yeah, because I don't remember if I have it in my collection. I love that seven. I inch. love that record. Love that record. Yeah. And I kind of sold it for five bucks in my home. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go find some records. Yeah, the guy or, or I'll buy some for you. Thank you. 
the guy in the end has some pretty good stuff. That's where I got it from. Uh, the guy in the left on the end. Oh, I'm gonna go spot it then. And good prices. Doing hot sauce? Yeah, I've got some fermented hot sauces here. Uh, noble green sauce, flagship red, and a habanero. I also ah. some spicy cocktail sauce to add into your beverages. Uh, jalapeno blackberries, uh, the fruitier of the two, come across a little bit milder for that reason. And the classic one I do has a bit of a smoky spiciness like the flagship red hot sauce. Nice. And then I also have uh, some uh, snacks today if you are hungry. My menu is right here. What's the name of the company? Uh, Dan. Yes. All right. Thank you, man. All right, let's talk about the items I found today. First thing was this VHS videotape rewinder, Radio Shack brand. $7.99, half off, four bucks. These sell pretty well. Followed that up with this Royce Model I675 CB radio transceiver, like complete. With sealed owner's manual still all in the plastic in the box. I don't know exactly how much this thing is gonna go for, but it was $29.99 half off, got it for 15 bucks. Got this cobalt fold-out tool bag, $4.99 half off, $2.50. And finally got this Cobra Child Size. It's a King Junior, like professional style golf bag, brand new. Really, really nice condition on this thing. Um, I know it's probably kind of hard to see with the angle that I have in the video. This was $9.99, half off, paid five bucks for it. That was stop one. Next up, we stopped at some garage sales, and at one of them, I picked up this video camera and this Risk and Castle Risk game. Five bucks for this, five bucks for this. Uh, this wasn't the best deal. I don't know, I'm gonna break it up. I'm actually, it's a big box to ship, and they don't really sell for a whole lot. I mean, five bucks is a decent deal for it, but I think what I'm gonna do is sell the parts, just park this one out. That is, it doesn't have its remote, but it is in almost new condition, it has a charger, has a battery, has a 32 gigabyte card for it, works, holds a charge. Everything is good with this. It has the manual, uh, everything it needs. So this is gonna be nice. Um, I might put this up for close to a hundred bucks. It can sell for that much. Moving on. Next place we stopped was a thrift store I had never been to in Burien. I ended up buying some t-shirts, five bucks a piece. Jesse Owens, homage made in the United States t-shirt. I don't know what this will go for, but I think I'll do pretty well on it. Got a 2007 Willie Nelson's 4th of July picnic at the Gorge, Washington. This is also a made in the USA t-shirt. Needs to be laundered. Hopefully it'll get completely clean because it does have a little yellowing, but I thought five bucks was a good deal for that. Graphics are very nice on it. And then surprisingly, I found this These Arms Are Snakes long sleeve. 
It's a little wrinkled, but in nice shape. And he's, you know, local boys made good. I know some of these folks. So yeah, five bucks. I couldn't let that stay there. The second St. Vincent de Paul store that we hit, we were trying to hit those all day because of the 50% off sales. But in the end, we only went to two of them. This had more of the kind of stuff I was looking for. So let me go through them really quick. This is a Star Wars game, Darth Vader shaped. And it has like a, it actually has the Star Wars cartridge in it. This was $5.99. It looked like it might be a decent buy because half off at three bucks. That seemed like it was a pretty good deal. It's Mercedes Benz uh, wheel locks for light alloy wheels. This would be a really nice buy at uh, $4.99. It would be a really nice buy at $2.50, except it's, uh, it's not right. These are not the wheel locks inside. These are actually the original lug nuts. So this key goes on your lug wrench and it has that special pattern and that allows you to take the lug nuts off that you would have replaced from this set. So these are the lug nuts that came out of somebody's car, but they left the key in here. So this on its own can sell and probably the case and instructions can sell. And who knows, maybe somebody wants these. These are Mercedes Benz lug nuts like brand new with the logo. So yeah, we shall see. That might do all right. Got a pair of van shoes. These are specialty like Alexis Ross, 100% kook style. They were size eight and a half men's, $24.99. So I got them for 12 and a half. Black and Decker replacement collection bag for blowers and vacuums. The uh, brand new, a little bit, a little bit of wear on the cover, you know, on the packaging, but it's fine. Three bucks for that one after the half off. Allen and Roth towel ring. This was eight bucks. It's brand new, still sealed in there. The box has a little bit of wear, but that should do okay. Uh, $7.99, half off, it was four bucks. And then first alert, smoke and fire alarms. Slim design two pack of maximum protection, no battery replacement fire alarms. Yeah. $14.99, half off $7.50. Brand new in the package. That's a no-brainer. At this point, we realized we couldn't get to another St. Vincent de Paul before they closed because they were all closing at five that day and we had spent a lot of time. So we switched over to going to Goodwills. I got this Nerf Zombie Strike. Uh, this is called the Nail Biter. This is a uh, basically like supposed to be a nail gun. They've turned into a uh, Nerf gun. Do that, that'll fire all the darts and then push it back down. This one was $4.99 and I was happy to pay a full price for it. I think that'll do well. And then I bought quite a bit of stuff at our last stop of the day. All right, a couple of these were actually cheaper than I was intending to pay. This Hulk figure, I really like Hulk figures. They only wanted $2.99 for this one. He's from 2016 and I think he's a good triple on the money. So I just went ahead and, and bought him. He, they're just so easy to photo and list. I know he won't sit around. This Rival XX800 Nerf. These get modded a lot because you can put a strong spring in them. Uh, at $2.99, I basically thought I had to go with that. And it hit, it, it fires so hard that I'm not sure that this one hasn't been modded already. But yeah, had to go with that. Easy list, easy ship. This one was in two parts. And I think they thought it was broken. Um, this fires those big those big Nerf darts, the Mega Darts. This is the Megalodon, and it is a crazy Nerf gun. $3.99 on that one, had to do it. Still in that last Goodwill, this is the Nerf Retaliator and Strike Elite dart gun. I have sold this gun many times. I've never had it in the box though. It is complete. Everything's in there, including darts. And they wanted $4.99 for this, had to do it. This one's in a little bit of rough shape in terms of like some dirt and some scuffs, but I'm gonna clean it up. It is a Sony DVD VHS player. It did power on, I checked that. I haven't checked to see how it plays, but I will do that, assuming it works. This is an SLV D370P. Assuming it works, I should get a nice, uh, a nice triple on my money probably at least. It was $14.99. And I do not know if I caught any of this moment on camera. I think I didn't. So leaving the store, I thought I have not spent nearly enough money. And as we were walking out, 
we spotted this on a shelf. Thor, Love and Thunder, Hammer, Mjolnir, Meow Meow, is that how she says it? This is a light up Thor hammer from the new movie. Um, it is brand new in the box, except that it has been taken out of the box. It clearly was opened, but it didn't have batteries in it. It wasn't played with. It didn't have any damage at all. The bottom had some, had some parts cut off. I think these might've been proof of purchases or something. So that's not good, but this thing was $49.99. It can sell for between $100 and $200 fairly easy and regularly. The only thing, uh, I just have to not want to keep it. I kind of want to keep it. That really wouldn't work though. I need to put it up for sale, but there's nothing that says I have to put it up for sale immediately. Maybe I'll hold on to this and see if the price of them goes up or down. We'll gamble on this one and that will allow me to have it around for a while. So that was the end of the shopping day with Tanya. And at the end of it, I still had 20 bucks to spend. So the next day I went out to the Circle Pit swap meet at El Corazon and bought these two records. 15 bucks for the Angel Dust ADLP on white vinyl, five bucks for the Super Chunk Coliseum split seven inch. This is a uh, Super Chunk and Coliseum doing Misfits covers. This was a record store day record. Very nice record. This will probably get double its money. This will probably get double its money. I've sold this one before, Angel Dust on white vinyl. I think the value of this band's records are going up, but right now with what's listed, I think I can put it up for 30 bucks, 29.99 plus shipping, and probably get that pretty quickly. So yeah, probably double on both of those. And that's it for all the buys this time out. All right, so now we need to add the new items. We need to add all of the items that I bought today, 24 items. So I've already made some space here. I got this zippered plush fox. If I do this right, this will all paste in perfectly. Yep, the new items are in, but we do not have the information quite yet. We've got to throw in the calculations. So let's see how this works. And there we have it. They're entered in with their prices, $1.38 left over. And now I know I said I was going to remove five items from this sheet. Just I'm just gonna take them out of play for $1 new car. Those items are right here. Pet Shop Boys, Cubism in concert. That's gotta go. Top Gear 11 DVD, needs cleaned, gotta go. Best of Insomniac. It's cool, but it needs cleaned, so it's got to go. And then I also decided that I was not going to do these Zuzu pets, and I was not going to do these Playmobil ships. You see, I've even left a notation here, decide how. Well, here's how I'm deciding how. I'm taking them out of play. I do not want these as part of the $1 new car. They're just too much of a hassle, so we're just going to remove those, and I'm going to sell those or get rid of them, put the money I used to buy them back into the current total, and that'll run towards the next time I'm gonna do a buy. So let's get rid of those. Okay, that's it. Getting a head start on the next batch, $25.99. And there we go, moving on to the next thing. So that's it. Long one this time, with a lot of parts. Um, yeah. Let's see how these bigger items sell. See if I can get them all listed before the next video. That'll be a, a goal that I will have. We'll see if we can get that done. I think yes. Try to get all the other old stuff listed too. And then who knows? Maybe I will, uh, maybe I'll wait. Maybe I'm going to go say double. Maybe I'll have to go to 400 and bank 100. So maybe I'll wait until I make 500. Before. I don't know. I'm just speculating out loud. When it's time to make the next video, I'll make another video and we will continue on with this journey. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you next time.